Hello ladies and gentlemen, Nakiato here. Welcome to another tips video. Today I'm going to show you how to take a auxiliary cable. Something like, aha, just a regular 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable. Um, and any audio device like a phone or a laptop or so on and so forth. And plug that into your computer or another laptop. I don't know why you need to plug that into two lap two laptops plugged into each other is weird laptopception. Um, so you take the audio device, 3.5 millimeter jack, plug it into your computer and boom, you have audio. Uh, in a perfect world, that would just work. But unfortunately, in an unperfect world, we have computers that sometimes have line in and sometimes do not. Now, if you don't know what a line in, it is this right here. Uh, the blue, or that way, uh, the blue input that you see right there, that is the line in. And a lot of computers have this, but most laptops do not. And I mean like 99% of laptops do not have this blue input. Um, and then the other two important ones are the, the green one and the pink one, and that is speaker output and microphone input. Well, because we don't have a line input into laptops and whatnot, I'm going to show you how to use your microphone as a line in input instead. So you take your 3.5 millimeter jack, the 3.5 millimeter cable, and plug that into the microphone port instead, and then go down into speakers. If you right click on speakers, your audio controller down in the bottom right hand corner, click on recording devices. This pop up comes up, <clears throat> and then from here we want to click on microphone. Oh, I will play some intro music for you. Ta-da! So if we click on, or if we right-click on microphone, go to properties, click on listen, and then click on listen to this device. Check that box. Check the shit out of that box. Click apply. It's running off my phone. Audio. It works. It's you know, that's all you really need to do at that point. You don't really have to do anything else except for that. You're done. You're done. Uh, but I want to show you guys one more thing that you can do. So we'll just close that. And then this is a program that I use really, really regularly. It's a fantastic program. It allows you to have all of your audio sources and whatnot on one convenient little screen. And anytime that you want to change audio, anytime that you want to, I don't know, is, well, allow it to go to another input and whatnot, you can do it from this. Uh, now, I know it's it's very, very daunting when you first look at it, but once you start playing around with everything related to it, it's pretty easy. In fact, there's this video that I did right here, and it's, uh, it's taking this program and a, a phone or whatnot and allowing you to connect your phone to Skype with your microphone and you can use it as a soundboard during Skype so with a you, you can troll a friend over Skype or Ventrilo or so on and so forth it's great it's it's something fun to know uh, in case you want to know it for some reason uh, click on that annotation if you don't have annotations on click down in the description below I'll include the link for that um, getting back to voice meter so here we are in voice meter now, as you can see, we have that, that music still going from the microphone that I, I have plugged in. You know, my phone is plugged into the microphone port. It is attached to this microphone thing. So I will play some outro music for you guys. Outro. And outro music. You know, and that's one of the simple, easy things about voice meter banana. Ha uh, ha! No audio. Ha uh, ha! Uh, audio. Ha uh, ha! Uh, no audio. It's great. It's great. And then there's all kinds of other things that you can do with it. Like I can turn it up and down. I can uh, I can make an echo effect with that music and blah 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 blah. blah. There's all kinds of shit that this program does because it's awesome. Uh, so check it out. I'll include the link for that down in the description as well. Uh, maybe at some point I will make a video explaining how to use said program. I don't know why I haven't already at this point, honestly. Um, but yeah, 
If you run into one issue while doing this though, if you run into the issue of you have a lot of static noise in the background of, uh, of plugging your phone into uh, that microphone jack, uh, there is one way to get around that in case you can't get a sound card for your computer, like I said, if you're using a laptop, and that's to go for something like this. Uh, this is the iMic. Uh, there are a lot of little devices like this. Basically what it does is it adds a, a auxiliary out and a microphone slash line into your computer via USB. Uh, the only thing is this thing costs 40 bucks. <laughs> I know, $40 for this little adapter. Uh, but if you're looking for it, just, you know, Google search, uh, you know, iMic or Google search, uh, uh, USB line in adapter or something like that. There are a lot of cheap ones, but honestly, this is one of those things where should I throw a little bit more money at it just in case, you know? Um, that's why I decided to include the picture of this one because it's a very, very well rated one. So I don't know. It's, it depends on what your needs are and whatnot. So uh, yeah, I, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, there's nothing else to cover. You guys pretty much understand the gist of it nothing else to say so i'm gonna get the hell out of here play some outro music for you guys goodbye ladies and gentlemen don't forget like comment subscribe do all of that jazz goodbye good night